The seals have been broken, and the devils are here. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Concerto on Nocturne, our Vampire the Masquerade actual play, where we traipse around New York City and do terrible things to nightclubs, apparently. Man, the last one was okay. Yeah, there was no fire at the last one. Yeah. Two! The last two! Two! Yeah. <laughs> no lot of nightclubs have been on fire since I have been on the stream. This is the kind of quality you will get when you hire a nightclub owner into your coterie because she appreciates that you can't just go around burning down half of New York. I just thought that, like, Toriador were fire retardant. <laughs> Bitch, I'm fabulous. I'm always on fire. Mm. <laughs> So, before we get into tonight's show, we're going to go ahead and do a couple of announcements, a couple of shout-outs, and then we're going to rock and roll right into our... That's our shout-outs. I think it's time to jump in to our game now, where our players take on the roles of Draculas. So... <laughs> Is the immersion not it's... killing it? All right. <laughs> <laughs> End of the right. world. End of the world. End Fancy. of the world. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into this. Polka. Tonight's... <laughs> Tonight's episode of Concerto on Nocturne. Episode 25. Entitled Roots. Bloody Roots. We find ourselves with Liz and Charlie processing after that meeting. Danny came home and immediately went into work mode. Charged into her room and started blasting her music. <laughs> A mixture of ACDC and Electro Swing on Shuffle. The poor neighbors. <laughs> so Liz, Liz and Charlie are sitting in between Polka and ACDC. And it's really concerning when the two, like, mesh and overlap. Because if you just kind of let your your eyes go... If you just, just let your eyes cross so you can see the picture in the magic eye painting, it's kind of doing the same thing with music. Oh, look at that. I frenzy. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> As Charlie and Eliz sit in the Haven living room, processing that meeting. Take it away. <laughs> well, I know I've gone crazy because this is starting to sound kind of good. I think we found the end of the universe right here between these two songs. Listen, I know, I know that... You have a very firm policy on staking people, but what if I asked really nicely? Okay, I have discovered that staking someone is actually very difficult. So yeah, it turns I'm gonna out... have to like work out with Sloan or something to be better at that. First. Second, no. These are the people <laughs> I care about, including you, so I don't stake any of you. Okay, okay. I get Only it. You have a stake like. in us so that you won't stake us. Understood. Uh, well, I don't think we're getting Danny out of there, and we probably shouldn't anyway. I think she's busy working for Mr. Berlin. 
Yeah. Oh. You should go knock on Delia's door. Yeah, I'm gonna- hold on a second. And Charlie goes into the, the kitchen and starts making oatmeal. <laughs> No, it's, oh, it's that God. time. No, 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 no. I, I, I come over and like take your hands off of the oatmeal. No, no, yeah, but, no, no. But it's no, but I don't. have to. She can't. She. Two, uh, two things. One, you don't. You don't have to. I, I don't know if this is some kind of weird Dracula compulsion thing. We've got a lot of weird rules. I try not no, to pay attention to too many of them. Julia and secondly, likes the she, smell. she can't eat it though. That's why I eat it. <laughs> Are there still bowls of oatmeal out on the tables by any chance left over? She's been I leaving them at Delia's door. They're, they're in front of the door. I pointedly turn and look. Yeah, I pointedly <laughs> turn and look at the full bowl of oatmeal at the door, and then pointedly slowly turn back to Charlie. It's, it's how we tell time in here sometimes. <laughs> it's like our sundial, but it it smells like this has a clock on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little tense. I see that. Listen, I just want to do this because it gives me a minute to kind of process. And then we can go knock on the door, okay? Okay. You make your oatmeal. You know what? <clears throat> make the oatmeal. I'll just be here just, figuring just out how to get sit, this through my sit, heart. Just sit. Just, just grabs Liz by like her arms and just settles her in like one of the bar stools <laughs> of the counter. Just goes like, just make this oatmeal and then we're going to get Delia, okay? Yep. I promise. That's good. <laughs> just sits and quickly makes like starts making her oatmeal and as she does she just kind of sits for a second and goes i again i want to thank you for doing what you did i know carrying the notebook for danny i mean honestly it wasn't that heavy no Throws with it. my friend in the blood farm yeah i know i was trying to dodge with humor ha 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 it didn't work um i I'm not mad at you or anything. I'm I'm grateful that you you took on a burden that was really gonna be hard for anybody. And I feel like you kinda did it for them and me, and it was really sweet of you. Which is like the weirdest shit to say, I know, but I don't know how else to hey, say it. No, Charlie, hey, 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 Charlie, 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 come here, come here, come here. And while you're making your oatmeal, it's like a just I've oatmeal. kind of beckon you back over. Like, just come, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Bonk. Do the, the head-to-head -head thing. Charlie, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. You've lived in New York a while, right? I visit a lot. So you've been here. You, you, you're, you've gotten a feel for this town. You know what it's like here. Vagrant New York's a little, the greatest, yeah. New York's the greatest town on the planet Earth. There's no place like it. But get the fuck out of it before it eats you alive, kid. You're too good for this place. I can't do I'm that. I'm sorry you had to see that. It's... I'm learning I'm gonna see some shit. And... <laughs> Honey, you... But that's... You've already seen enough um, shit for four lifetimes to say nothing gonna... of your undeath. It's gonna just... I will get tougher as I go. But I won't lose... No, hey, whoa, me. Uh -uh. Don't, don't let this place make you someone else either, okay? No, just a tougher me, but one that still loves as freely as I do. And she just, Kid, like, the... oatmeal in, like, one hand yeah. while it's doing that, like, soaking in part, and then just, like, hugs Liz with the other arm. <laughs> and it's Kid, just, you're like, one of the I... toughest people I know. I owe thanks for everybody here, especially Delia. I have to make sure that she knows how much I care about everybody here and her and and everything. I don't. I also weirdly like this polka to... song that's playing, and I have to ask her what one it is. <laughs> well, speaking of Delia, if you finish up oh. your oatmeal, yep, and then it's all you done. Go knock on her door, and um, okay. and Chuck, thanks, you know. I'm gonna go you smoke know. a cigarette and turn out to jump off the balcony. Get like a forehead bonk before like you go like a cat that's just like, I yeah. love you. And then <laughs> she just pads over down the hallway with the bowl oatmeal with the polka music just getting louder and louder and louder. And she's like walking through a wall of polka. <laughs> I thought it was soundproofed. Okay. This is a powerful system she has in there. Just 
like as looking the other oatmeal. Ding, ding, ding. Well, once you <laughs> go to knock on the door, it's knock, knock, and then the door is meeting your hand, and um, fuck it, yeah. roll Dex Athletics. Yay! I need an oatmeal check. <laughs> <laughs> And oatmeal check! <laughs> Save versus oatmeal. <laughs> oh this is the greatest roll I've ever gonna I'm ever gonna roll is an oatmeal check. Roll for oatmeal. Roll for oatmeal. You say Dex Athletics? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not an oatmeal check, it's an oatmeal save. Literally. <laughs> save oh, the save. oatmeal. Do do my gymnastics help me in any way? <laughs> yes. Balance is key. Limber. I've seen People this anime, it's great. <laughs> so many ducks. So many ducks. Oh, so little hold on. time. Oh. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> An exceptional success. Well, <laughs> well. This will mess Redelia now! <laughs> Charlie pirouettes. <laughs> Ends up doing an illusion kick in the process. All while sliding the bowl in her hand across the back of her hand and then catching it again without losing a single drop. As Delia slams the door open. Down the hall and outside of the balcony, I drop my cigarette. The, the oompa-pa has ceased. Okay. Delia, are you on fire? I, I'm not, um... Am I the hey, only, only one who could put you out? Yep. <laughs> yeah? I... Is that a double entendre? Wait. <laughs> okay, so... First of all, I have oatmeal. Second of all, Liz and I found out a whole bunch of stuff with Danny that you really need to know. It's really important. Okay. Fine. That's fine. Um, wow, that smells so good. And she, in one hand, she's clutching um, uh, a vial of God knows what uh, in heavy <laughs> rubber-covered gloves. I'll take, okay, I'll take the bowl. Uh, come in, though. Um, I'm still working on some things, and I can't leave it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go get Liz really quick and just let her know. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, takes bowl and starts walking towards one of the seal-covered uh, tables. Charlie just goes as much down the hallway as she feels she needs to and just goes, Liz! We got an invite to the lab! And just... I'm gonna miss that cigarette. <laughs> Coming! That's no cool. smoking in the lab! <laughs> Never let me have any fun. I mean, it's not like we're gonna get lung cancer, so I suppose you really could smoke in the lab I, if you wanted see, to. See, Dilly knows what's up. Are, I assume things are flammable in there. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you could still smoke in the lab, that's fine. Oh, sweet. We put lead in our cosmetics for how long and I'm all right, so. Price to pay for beauty. Uh, so did you, did you tell her about the end of the world yet, or? Delia sits uh, oh, on one of the stools, uh, unbuttoning the, the heavy rubber lab coat that she had on, pushing it aside. Uh, she's dressed in a oh, very loud yellow um, Hawaiian pineapple uh, halter top with uh, which could be at home in the scene in Jurassic Park, but uh, it seems comfortable on her, and it's also the most skin she's probably shown in. In. <laughs> nice shirt. Thank you. It, it's so I felt bright. loud. Love it. Uh, you were loud, incidentally. Um. <laughs> but you seem proud of that fact, so you know what? Good on you, good initiative. Do you want the good news, the bad news, or should we take your news first? Because tell me, you found literally anything. Uh, well, I always like the bad news first. Um, 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 and I need a little bit of a presentation for mine anyway. So, you know, I'll, I'll start sliding some things over, and she starts moving some stuff on her desk, clearing it off, and, um, you know, resting her hand on some things. So, what happened? Bad news first, because obviously, you don't come in for good sure. news. Well... Short version, all the venture in the city had themselves a little get-together, decided to uh, elect a new uh, King Dickhead of Dickhead Mountain, mm. who then uh, very quickly and um, forcibly uh, abdicated in favor of 
Oh God! What was the guy's name in the in the in the truck? In the ice cream truck? She's putting some things up on a shelf as she's listening. <laughs> Trolley just kind of takes in a breath she doesn't need and releases it slowly and goes, "It was Siegbert." Oh, that she, guy. She cracks one of the things she's holding, the glass whining in in the glove. Oh, clumsy. I hmm. Repeat that again. She starts it, pulling out it, some it, of the glass from the glove and putting it down, going and getting a wipey, and just wiping the solution quietly. So, <laughs> I know I didn't hear that. I made a mess. What was that again? Charlie wants to help her clean really bad, but is afraid. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, Char if Charlie goes to move, I just kind of put a hand out, like, eh, maybe wait. <laughs> and, um, uh, Okay, it was Sieg Bear, and he came in, and he wasn't on ice anymore, but he had a whole bunch of, like, freezer burn and stuff, but he was still there, and then, like, Curtis totally knew, because he evil he texted me, like, an emergency code and everything, and he was freaking out, and we were freaking out, and everybody's freaking out except for Sieg Bear, because he, now he's in charge. That. And that's only part of it. <sighs> so, the Inquisition, yeah? Um, is it just Siegbert? Is Siegbert the only popsicle that's been defrosted? There were others, there were other- there's more than just that. If Siegbert is out, who else is? Some... Is, uh... What's the term, Liz? It's the... Uh, uh, the guy uh, that baby? said, like, oh, hi, I'm in- I'm in charge, and now I abdicate instantly. Oh, oh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, his name, uh, checks notes, because Liz would remember. Uh, that was, uh, Ferdinand, right? Frederick Ferdinand? Yeah. I believe. That Very guy, neat. although he didn't look defrosted, I don't know if he's a corpsicle, but I didn't recognize him. Um, hmm. It wasn't just Siegbert that was being peddled around the town in ice cream trucks, it was... Um, everyone that was, well, left from the first beckoning. Oh! S oh! Who else was yeah. in there? Siegbert had a I mean, court. There were others that... How big is this up. place? Uh, so that's something you'll probably have to check in with our boss on. Uh, because we got ourselves a little encoded message. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, uh, the only one that showed up at the, at the, at the party was Siegbert, um, and uh, he had uh, Eric with him? Bodyguard guy? Seems Danny seems to know him. Yeah, the one that was at the Elysium at the theater that Danny said hi to? It was him. The one who saved yeah. her family. Oh. You know, that explains a lot. No wonder she likes that guy. He seemed to not be terribly pleased that he was doing no, what he was doing. No, and none of us should be. Oh no, it gets worse. Well, yeah. sure, sure. Why not? She 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 swipes away the last remaining bit of the glass into a biohazard container, closes it, hops up onto her we... the the metal table, crosses her legs on, puts her gloved hands on her lap, and looks down at the two of them like. Please tell me how <sighs> it further spiraled out. We have reason to believe that they're working with the Inquisition. And, uh, yeah. are, they... in some capacity, part of our problem with this whole drug situation. And in two weeks' time, are going to unleash seven kinds of hell on the kindred of New York. Two weeks, two weeks. Can you tell me about the flavor of hell? That's a really good question, actually. That's why we've got oh, Danny looking into it. Danny, we, uh, so here's the good news, right? Danny has insinuated herself into the inner circle of the this uh, evil, dark overlord guy. So something you don't know what is coming in two weeks to uplift the city. So. Yeah. He spoke in vagaries and bold threats that, um, you know, I believe him when he says he can do it. That's all we got. Before, um, 
before he was um, a popsicle, Siegbert was a pile of shit since since I'd ever um, encountered him, since I insulted him in Elysium, actually. And I didn't care for him, and I still don't. And I really, 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 really don't care for him because he was also working with Lucas. The person that you should be very worried about if he is also defrosted, because if Lucas is defrosted and working with Siegbert freely, that means that they are working freely to enslave you all. Lucas. Uh, would I know who that is in character? Lucas Leinart was the previous uh, Tremier Primogen, who was the one That's right. who brought the Blood Vault online. Now I remember. Thank you. He was working on something. We haven't seen hide nor hair of Lucas. He wasn't at the meeting, obviously, and Siegbert didn't bring him up. Is Curtis okay? Yeah. That's a fine question. I have no idea. He was okay enough to at least to text us 400 times. Uh, yeah, he blew up my phone, phone while I was there. My phone was actually hot in my bag. Oh, oh, I have... Ooh. <laughs> she looks over to see her phone very... I, yeah, there's a bunch of texts. Oh, dear. Did, did you get texted, too? She slowly pulled her. Uh, yeah, oh. I didn't hear it at the time. It's, you, I mean, you were them. blasting polka and you were sciencing, so I kind of don't blame you, but... It's, it, it's just that once I have a thing, it's very hard to let a th stop with the no, thing. No, no, uh, I get hmm. it. It's how I get when I paint. So I get it. Okay. It's how I get when I screw. It's understandable. Ooh. That's an investiture. Um... I'm a generous lover. So, that's uh, that's our side. That's our part of show and tell. What do you got? Um, first, we should at least find out if Curtis is okay. Someone should text no. him. Yeah, no, and God, we right. We need to find out who else was defrosted. Who did the defrosting? Um, and we have no idea what's coming in two weeks at all. Uh, again, it, it, it involves the Ventru ascending to basically righteousness. I My guess, honestly, is that they're going to be utilizing the humans in some capacity to make a power grab on the city against Curtis. Uh, uh, I suspect... I have a question. Ooh, yeah. What's up? I did a medicine roll on uh, Siegbear when he came in and he had all the, the ice like damage and stuff. Could mm -hmm. I also tell how long ago maybe he was thought out? That would actually be more on the ends of occults because vampires don't heal like normal humans. So medicine would okay. actually not be fully helpful in figuring out how well okay. a vampire would recover from frostbite. Mm. Can I retroactively roll that or am I just kind of like... Um, no, you know what? Remembering. That's not retroactive. You're thinking about it. You're trying to remember. Okay. So I will let you roll that. Uh, intelligence. Okay. Occult. Mm -hmm. And if you have anything in kindred physiology would be the specialty if there was. Uh, and give that a roll. That sounds like a fun specialty. Kindred physiology. Uh, if anybody have it, it'd be Delia. I want it now. <laughs> I, am gonna, I am gonna rouse check though to get extra. I am not hungry. Blood, but where do it go? Where do we keep blood? Keep blood here, keep blood here. <laughs> I've got so many answers for you. <laughs> I have so many questions. Um, if we were doing normal rolls, I still only would have gotten one, but I have zero. <laughs> I rolled like ass. Okay, yeah, you you don't know exactly how long uh, you got the exception he was before. defrosted. Yeah, I used it on Omi. <laughs> you used all your successes for the night you on Omi. used it where it was important. <laughs> <laughs> if I spilled oatmeal on Delia, I'd be double dead by now. <laughs> and you are you on fire? Now Liz, you are. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I have a very all of sordid history important. with fire extinguishers. I'm just saying she's efficient, but creative. Oh god, the fire extinguisher. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, I will anyway, go ahead. Uh, it's just... It's just Charlie, like, sitting there going, I just wish I could figure out how long ago we got flat out. Damn it. And uh, well, I mean, that's the thing, it. right? Um, it's who here's got the prince's number? Because, like, uh, oh, right, the, the prince. Right. So, yes. So, um, I, I think they're going to call in some amount of, of or, or find, curry some favor with the, the freaking humans of the uh, Inquisition who are going to 
Create a power vacuum, probably by murking a bunch of people, and I suspect it's going to blow up in their big dumb Ventru faces. Wait, so you're you're insinuating that the Ventru are going to be utilizing the Inquisition to for their push, right? I'm not insinuating. I think they are. How are they keeping themselves safe in that situation? <sighs> okay. One of them seem really reluctant at the voting process. The hands up. Oh, moment. people are definitely being blackmailed into participating in this, but... Uh, yeah, Sigurd's yeah, methods are always less than progressive. Uh. He's been, he was turned in the early 1800s. I don't mean to insinuate that every... Well, I'm a bit the oldest in the room, that we're naturally inclined to have dated views, but in this case, it <laughs> might actually be very true. I'll, I will do what I can then uh, to uh, make sure I don't kiss any girls in front of him. But eighteen hundreds. Yeah. Yeah, it was a long time ago, huh? Um, it was turned in the nineties. <laughs> Aw, it's adorable. Nobody tell her it was turned in the eighties. Anyway, <laughs> that's what it's looking like we're standing at. Charlie, you've got a really good point, though. Uh, yes, if, if either of you have Curtis's number, somebody should call him and make sure he's not like, I don't know, being shot at or something. He seems a nice guy. Um, do we want to do that now, or do we want to wait until Delia has her presentation? Because I'm very curious what Delia found. Uh, I am too, but a lot. I think for the sake of Delia's heart, maybe we should call Curtis. I just, I don't have his number. I don't, the prince is not on speed dial for me. Uh, well, I can give you the number of the sex hotline he uses. <laughs> okay! I just have a number that gets me Curtis, nobody else. Does oh, he yeah. work for one? Wait, what? 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 <laughs> Where's that oatmeal? I'm gonna go find Danny. Danny, how do I get a hold of the prince? <laughs> Did he have his phone? Grabs Liz. It's, 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 it's fine. We got it. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just listen. Do we want to call him right now? I'll put him on speaker. Yes. 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 Put him on yes. speaker. Great. No. Yes. yes. Takes out her little phone that has a little, like, the little trees and the sunshine on the fucking case and just, like, starts unlocking her phone. And she just, she just dials Curtis and puts that thing on speaker. It rings. About four times. Before it cuts out. And you get the response of... The person you're attempting to contact as a mailbox is full. You then is immediately it? get a text back <laughs> that says getting to a secure spot, I'll call you. Well, just boop. There, uh, see, he's alive. Just trying to get whatever. cover so he can at least call back. So it looks like we got a little time. Okay, proof of life is good. That's that's good. Um, we'll have to get the other information afterwards, I guess. Yeah. Huh. Fucking hope Lucas is still securely in a truck somewhere. Um. So, drugs, bloods, drug bloods, blood drugs. Uh, I have nothing to help you with. with Drugs, but, um... I'm sorry I left you guys after the IV drip. I realize... Like I said, once I have a thought, it's very hard to let that thought go, and I needed to work on that thought right away. But it's not that I didn't care. Oh, honey, 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 honey. Oh. Let, me, let me slow you down right there, just a little bit. Um, <laughs> That night was intense. We saw and we went through a lot. Um, I don't think anybody's going to blame you for needing a little space, needing a little time, needing to focus in on something uh, to the exclusion of everything else around you. Lord knows, honestly, I wish I could do it. And honestly... You're good, Delia. If, if it wasn't for, you know, you getting us even down there, we wouldn't have known what was happening in... I wouldn't even know my friend was down there. He'd still be suffering, and... I I have a lot to thank you for, but that's something that I'd like to thank you for now. And Charlie just kind of 
pads over and just hugs Delia. Ooh, she mm. like moves her legs just... to either side because she was sitting on top of the table at the time and just kind of like, Oop. hey, um, hmm. <laughs> distractions are a bitch. Listen, I, and she puts her hands on, on Charlie's shoulders. And like, I. I do, I do care. It's just that I mm, I need to care and uh, in my way, and yeah, I needed time to figure out how I could hurt everything. I figured it no, out. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um. So I can't talk with you between my legs. So. Oh, I can. <laughs> Backs up. Thank you. <laughs> I can try. No, 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 no. Um, we can make it a bit totem. Just her sure a little bit. Toilet <laughs> totem was so, so weird. Um, I have no idea what our adventure friends are looking to rain holy hell upon our lives with, but uh, I have a feeling that the adventure work in a specific way that um, relies on convincing everyone there's no point in fighting back. Right. You said everyone seemed reluctant, like they didn't want to, but they had to go along with what was happening, right? Social pressure, blackmail, any of a number of uh, subversive and, let's call them what they are, underhanded tactics, the likes of which cowards use! <laughs> it is soundproofed in here, but it's fine, yeah, well, yes, um, so... <laughs> But not just that, it, it, even you uh, and Charlie, everybody, you're all convinced of certain truths and that keeps you uh, in line, right? Um, the idea that thin blood, that concept alone, the idea that you're all lesser than. Fleets of people in, in, in New York are convinced that they are born below. How do yeah, you... no, it's, societal structures are a hot little horse shit. You don't have to tell the trans woman about that. I get it. So let's break but it. Where are you going? Let's break it. Change the game. I can't fight in a one-on-one -on -one with Siebert. I can't talk my way around that. And I certainly can't punch anybody harder than Charlie. And if Charlie can't fix this with her fists, then we need to change the game. To something we can fight. What are you proposing? I'm gonna need you to drink something. And she whirls across the table like a white snake video, her palazzo pants fluttering as she does. <laughs> and uh, puts her hands across the, across the glass case and just starts going through. I think it's a demonstrational thing. You have to understand. I'm really. Oh, know, no, honey, it's not the first time a, a cute girl has told me that. So please, by all means, like, oh, allow me to imbibe. Right. Um. And she pulls out a little vial. Right. So, um, normally Fox did a lot of, like, the presentation side of things, so, um, I thought maybe if it was more interactive, because I've been really struggling to really connect with you guys on this, so I thought maybe if I just made you- Just put this in your mouth here. Drink this. And then Pop tell me the how you feel. Mazel tov, I guess. The last time taste. I drank a I, thing I, you made, I, please roll to I see how many <laughs> dots cool. happen. Oh, this is alchemy. So hold on. Liz throws it back like it's a shot. Just <laughs> Charlie is impressed. <laughs> also, yeah. what would Delia have put into this concoction so that we have some flavor notes to to reference? Uh, well. Let's turn this into an episode of Dagashi. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> Tell me about the mouthfeel. It's kind of like mozzarella. Is but... it a DIY slime technique? <laughs> On second thought, let's make this nothing like Dagashi. I take it all back. But it does burn like that blue drink you had that time. And that's oh, mostly God. because there is actual, um, like, fuel within the mix. <laughs> um, and you'll find that... Um, <laughs> Oh, ooh. oh, good! I like whiskey, right? I thought oh. that, I thought that adding that that I changed some things from last time, so I thought if I added that burning note, it maybe <sighs> it would remind you. It's not like whiskey. I, you're great. You're a delight. In fact, I own a bar. This is not like whiskey. This is like lighter fluid. It's been a really long. I had time. a lot of whiskey the other night. <laughs> oh. 
Oh no. Okay. Oh no, oh, no. wait. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> four successes. Uh, Liz's blood potency has increased by four. Uh, by four? By four. <laughs> I have oh. a blood potency of six? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, correct. I'm not even sure what one that high does. You can look at what your blood surges can do. Oh, I could read them for you. Hold on. I keep a graph. Yeah, I don't have the, I don't have a chart in front of me because I didn't. This is I only would need this is for the scene, by the way. Right so now. yeah, yeah. Uh, if you were to blood surge, you would add four dice to your blood surge. Um, <laughs> you could mend three superficial points of damage instead of in obviously one the one. You could add three dice to all discipline power uses. Uh, and then you also get to re-roll all rouse checks on level three and below discipline uses. Uh, however, but, your bane severity is increased, and only um, animal and bag blood no longer will give you any sustenance. So my bane severity oh, is increased. Can. Yeah. Yes. Cannot drink this. Is the lab a mess? No. The lab is a vision of surgical steel, daylight-balanced white bulbs black tile everything is minimal and efficient she her personality does not fuse with the lab her personality ends with a coconut vase right outside the door there is no That's a nice in the shirt <laughs> my last coterie hated it they were good. idiots you should Liz, are you okay? See this trick? It's just, there's the way these things... Come here, look at this. I need to take a picture of this. <laughs> are you... Is it... Are you... How do you feel? Are you okay? It's just like I've never really truly appreciated the beauty of this moment. Have you ever, like, thought about, like, science, you know? Delia, did you turn her into a Hallmark card? Because she sounds like a Hallmark card, and I'm concerned. <laughs> well, if I'm it's honest, like... I, I didn't want to give it to you because I worried that you were going to wreck my lab again, so I thought she would be the safer option. Don't you ever wreck this lab! Charlie! I don't grab Charlie's wreck... shoulder. I don't... don't... Listen to me. You have to understand. It's like a perfect vision of progress, and it's what we're meant to do as people. Humans, we got to the moon, you know? And then, like, this is how we did it. But, like, in a medical form? Do you understand what I'm saying, Charlie? You see... Do you, no, I put my Charlie's head face <laughs> next to mine. Look at this room! Huh. <sighs> 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 yeah, the like, room is fangs very... deployed just a little bit? Just... The, the room <sighs> is very nice, Liz. It's a great room. She's just slowly trying to remove Liz. Which Liz. is not hard. You're, you're way stronger than she is. Just, just <sighs> Liz, you're... It's it's fine. I I don't plan on ruining anything, and as long as nobody got hurt, I wouldn't frenzy. So it's fine. Man, I feel like I could, I could run to PA. Is that what it's supposed to do? It's Look how fast of... my hand can move. <laughs> 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 the celerity kicks off. Just <laughs> Charlie, just... really fast. The frame, just... the frame rate blur just... is perfect right now. <laughs> Charlie just solar like just neat just grabs and is just like you're, I feel like you're gonna hurt yourself somehow and I'm a little worried. But how about you sit yeah. down right here? And oh, Delia, yeah. would you would you mind explaining what just happened? Uh, um well well proof of concept right there. Uh, the way you feel, uh, the, the way you see, uh, it's more, right, than you're used to. Right? You're not just doing um, drugs, right? Is your bag in the room? The the bag you carry everywhere? Probably, no. yeah. Okay. Uh, well, for the sake of argument, we'll say it's an arm's reach, and Liz just kind of like, ooh, reaches over and like just puts her hands on it, and spirits touch. Oh. What, what so, is that? What is that? That's... <laughs> Uh, sorry, that's, that's my that? psychometry. That's where, I, I, that's where I touch things and get visions from them. Good at psychometry, the bag, right? That's bad. Mm -hmm. That's so, real bad. Page one twenty one of VTR. That bag is old as shit. That. Mm. We'll see how far back it goes. That bag has seen some shit. Wits, <laughs> occult, auspex. Plus. Is my hoodie still in there? <laughs> how many dice for the discipline? Two. Oh, oh, you get an Wits. additional three, I believe. Add three dice. Occult. 
Auspex. Yep. Uh, is two there. And then another... Uh, do I need to, like, um, make a blood surge to do that, though? Nope. Or should I just get that? Yep. <laughs> you just need time to, to kind of touch it and hold on to it for a second to feel okay. it. Okay. If I, if I then blood surge on top of that, though, I get... What was it? Plus three four? dice? Four, another four dice on yeah. top of that. Four dice. I don't have enough dice! Is, is there any difficulty I need to subtract some dice out from? Uh, let's see here. Oh. Uh, let's see here. Negative one because of its old intensity. Okay. Old intensity. Yeah, if it's recent but mild or old but still intense, it's... That's what I want. Yeah. Uh, I want to be old intensity one day. <laughs> I'm going to go and... <laughs> That's it. That's my merit. It's the, negative, take? It's the one. It, that's the only <laughs> okay. negative that you might take from this. Then, then I'm gonna check for hunger to see if I get hungry because uh, I'm gonna blood surge. Uh, it's a five, so I think I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna roll all of these and then roll four more. Whee, the mountain of dice. One, <laughs> two. Mm, nope, nope, Here you nope, go, nope, honey. Nope. Oh. Only these two are good. Was right, here's a menu so of things that the bag might have seen. And then finally, <laughs> it's so exciting. Wow! I rolled all those dice. I got two successes on like thirteen dice. Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't touch. Did you touch Jack them? Or her dice? I thanks, I but touch turn nothing. the tray around because it's got Charlie's curse now. Sorry, I don't know, I don't know how I pass it. <laughs> That's fine. Delia, it's in the lab. We must figure this out. <laughs> this is the true curse. <laughs> this is why you're supposed to, you know, wear a mask and not touch people and maintain social distancing. I get it. <laughs> How many successes? Just two. Just two? I'm 13 or 14. Tell guys. her about some of the most interesting moments Delia had at Willowbrook. Oh, you picked the... Okay. I have to use the rest yeah. of the um, oh, you pick that one. The Willowbrook State School. So you see a young nurse, uh, many nurses, in fact, in their pillbox hats, like what you saw in the IV drip, oh. milling around a filth-covered hospital um, from very early 40s, maybe. Um, children are tied to radiators. Um, Someone has been strapped down to a bed. There's crying everywhere, screaming. Um, you have a flash of cold as someone is with hands dunking someone into a cold bath and holding them there for a period. Um, I imagine there there is a bit of nice moments where you see hands smoking cigarettes with ankle socks cross sitting outside uh, and then possibly you would see just the whiff of a paper transferring a nurse from the Willowbrook, Willowbrook State School to Mason General Hospital during the Second War to Pilgrim State in New York. It's not pretty. Uh, yeah, uh, as, as I'm kind of like what you guys see is like she just kind of like does this ugh, and reaches over and like without being able to kind of help herself like reaches out and just sort of runs her hand onto the bag and then it, there's, there's a half second of this like haze to her eyes as she snaps back and like falls over like knocking some stuff off the table it's just like 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 she'd been blown back away from the bag almost and in a cold sweat just kind of like looks over at delia Are you not, are you having what's wrong it, it shouldn't it should still be in your resonating with you do you not feel okay and tears are just like starting to streak down her face as she stares at delia just wide-eyed just um, i'm so sorry uh, i i don't know what's going on um <laughs> um Okay, you're, uh, <clears throat> potent shot, one. 
Two. Doesn't taste like whiskey. Put that out of your head. Don't do that again. Good. Work on good it. Good try. Three. How do you function? I'm um, so sorry. Every you. I... That's some Silence of the Land shit in your in your past, huh, man? Huh. Did... What? Uh, did you just fucking look into? Mm. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I can't. It's um. The, oh, oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That that was really. What? Really personal stuff that I think I just t I peeked into. I just saw where your bag's been. And I don't mean like yesterday, I mean like... Were you a nurse in the 1940s? Uh, yes. Oh god, I- Oh my god, I am so sorry! Um... Oh, no, 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 it's, it's your... Oh. Uh, yeah. I feel like I should be sorry for both of you. I... <laughs> I don't know why, but I think I should. Uh... Um... Uh, wow, words. Words are hard. You know, the uh, 80s were better. The 80s definitely got better for me. Just, um, which is saying a lot, because AIDS. Um, wow. I, it's okay. I lived in a tunnel, and I was... I'm a virgin still. It, it wasn't a problem for me. No, um, oh, God. You're still a virgin. Jesus. I'm shutting up. Um, yeah, no, it's... um, Man, you have had to hide for so long. You put so much of yourself in a little dark box and never let it down. Holy I, I, shit, Delia. Uh, well, I mean, you didn't see the later part. I got to work on it. My dream projects, I got elevated. To, I got to do things I would never would have. I was a lady in the 40s. I shouldn't have been able to do anything. No. How are you alive? Mm. Well, because I was dead at the time oh, when I was working. Yeah. I suppose you're a vampire. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, but... sorry. Um, that that was that was a tremendous breach of both confidence and, and privacy. And I feel you were dead already. Wait, how old are you, Delia? Um, I'm old. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I didn't. It's sorry. fine. It's it's hard to shut up right now. Uh, Fox waited till I was like almost forty to embrace me, and you know. I've lived a long life. <laughs> um. Yeah. To to total? Total? How many total? Oh, no. Um, I was born, I th Sandra thinks, in the 20s? Maybe? 30s. Ooh. No, 20s. 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 Yeah. 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 I think that sounds about right. It's been a bit. The 20s. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Happy hundredth! Oh God! Oh, so oh get yeah. a birthday cake and then feed oh, it to if Charlie. Oh, we'll survive this. We should have a party. The centennial one. Hey, maybe, maybe postpone the party until after Gehenna. Um, I, God. I, I mean, I think we're gonna have a hell of a fucking party if. Let me explain. So, what, so what did you? Um, what did you just give me? Because I'm too busy kind of tripping balls over how horrifyingly yeah, dramatic mean, your life has been. And I Charlie would love just, to hear something good and helpful and hopeful out of you. Charlie just gets Liz in a seat again and just kind of holds <laughs> her there. Yeah, she just sort of lets herself get guided and set down. And tries to focus very intently on the person speaking to her instead of looking at the room. It's very difficult for her. Head. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at Charlie. That makes me feel better, too. Um... Ah. <laughs> You're really cute. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> okay. So that didn't... This is why Fox does the demonstrations and I don't. But uh, what you just experienced was a proof of concept for uh, Project Unfound. Project, Project Unfound? Well, yes, that's what I named it. My work. I named it my work for myself. Yeah. Um, okay. It's better than Project Boat. Oh god, you guys heard that. Don't let him hear you say that. I have to call him later. It's just Project Boat? It, never mind, later. Really? The work is great. The naming, not so much. The idea that you have just experienced should not be able to exist in this world if you didn't have that power already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, turned Liz up to, like, 11? 
Eleven Liz's, kind of though. Me. That's not me. That's Liz. Oh, I'd have to kill ten other Liz's. No. No. There you go. See that right there? What you just said. Um, uh -huh. you can have that on your own without having to kill anyone. That that little lie that we all live on, the idea that we can't be more, more better, uh, our, our fuller selves, access what you just felt unless we diabolize another. That, that's a lie. They've been using it to control everybody. Think about it, How think about it. How did you do that? Think about it. No, I'm thinking about it and the ramifications and the implications are mind-swimming. How did you manage to... Liz wouldn't know who a Super Saiyan is, damn it. <laughs> ah. The real troubles. How did you just, like, Essence of Emerald bam my ass up like that? What? What? I don't know. That's a cooking thing. Don't worry about it. How? It was through the blood drug stuff? The, the, the... No, that's the thing. You don't need drugs. Drugs are, are... They're using the drugs for whatever the fuck else, but this has nothing to do with it. This is this is your natural nature and being able to access that. Shut up, Curtis. What? <laughs> Sorry, my phone's making noises. Sorry. Um, I forgot to put it up. I'm a professional. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. The idea uh, is that while every stuffy old um, person in power so far has told us that we can't become more unless we do this thing that they control and they say when and how, yeah. we can... It, it keeps us in line, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's social control. Oh, I get it. I got a big steaming face full of it right in my fucking eyeballs last night. It was the worst. So... Uh, you, you don't have to sell me here. I am fully on board. Like, listen, you wanna... Charlie, you wanna smash the system, right? Uh, usually, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you... I fucking hate a lot of very important people. So, I'm on board. I, I just want to know more about how, how, how to do that. Like... Lay it out for me. Okay. And she does a roll across the, t the, t the table again, and she slaps the wall, and a uh, whiteboard slides, swivels. No, 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 too much metal, too much metal, too so much metal. Did, did you do gymnastics at some point? Because I feel like you did. No, it's just I was listening to a lot of polka music, and it just kind of makes me happy. Anyway, so pff, as she, she, she now stabilizes the whiteboard behind her, there's a lot on it. There's a lot. Um... Does Charlie understand anything on <laughs> on dealing with this board? What is your? <laughs> oh God, that laugh! Hold on. <laughs> right, <laughs> my specialty will help. Unless we've looped back to the angry flowers, but she does have an okay amount in science because that's what she studied. This is like science and occult mashed together. So, what oh, are your dots understand. in science, and what are your dots in occult? Uh, they're both two with a botany in science, like a specialty uh, It's not helping you right this second. I figured not, but... Uh... Two on both. Liz is just taking in the handwriting, going, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you have enough to understand that there is... The basis of what she has written down here looks like it's... Genome-based... There's a lot of sequencing uh, written down. Abacaba stuff. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Cool beans. On. I love Gattaca. It's, it's Charlie, so Charlie's just like, there's so much good science happening on this board. Just <laughs> it's good I don't have to eat much anymore. Um, right. That would give you more time to write. <laughs> so, the idea is um she points to a part on the board she circles progenitor let's call it progenitor patient zero whoever the fuck made and she gestures wildly to the Ch room as, Pain, she... as they tend to say they not me i'm not doing that i'll go only so far no, I, I, I can't put these scare quotes any heavier i know i know it doesn't make sense it's, uh, it's i'll tackle that another night and she she folds her her legs uh kind of into a pretzel and just okay so the idea is that this person right here they make a vampire 
it up. Right? Here you go. They pass those keys. <laughs> Sorry, I broke character. To the one that they made. That. <laughs> that is that what kills you? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> think of it like a house, right? There's one big room, and that's where all the power's kept. And then when you make a child of your own, you give them keys to that house, and they build a door. Um, and they have to open that door every time they want to go in and access that power. Sounds fine. Um... Aside from it lacking any art to the reference, but continuing. Uh, so then what happens when that child then makes another one? The same thing. They make a door, except now there's two doors they have to go through to get to that main room with the power. And it continues. Okay. So in a way, um, I think it's all just being partitioned. I think it's not that we don't have it in us. I think that even the Duskborn has full access to, she slaps the board, the main room. Right? Huh. Otherwise, why could they even have any response to the potency potions that I've been making? Sure. sure. If it's all there, but it's just hard to nothing get Nothing in science. To, <laughs> yeah. Then... <laughs> We would be able to just, we just have to find like a back door. We have to go around the I side. the back door. Yeah. Oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> I totally I learned something to say about What? No, I mean, I mean, I mean, subverting the, the power structures through, the, yeah, like, it, honey, no, I get it. Act up. Yeah, like, it, yeah. But I, I don't know necessarily why um, every time we our nature creates this partition this door the separation it's like the, our the beast itself has a desire to dominate and assert a level of repetitive nightmare like control in that way so i could possibly figure out a way to well i did i did i actually figured it out i figured it out so i can't do it myself though but i did I'm, I'm very clever about this. Figured the thing out. I can't do it by myself. But if it does work, man, that would fuck them up, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yes. Looks at so, Charlie, or looks at Charlie. Yeah, yeah. What if every single person Why? in New York woke up tomorrow and they're like, oh, so I wasn't born a pile of trash. Wait, whoa. Uh, every single... Wait, hang on. I... Let's back up two steps. One, people aren't trash. They're people. Let's, let's, let's roll that back. Let's, let's just bring it a little in. I get it. I know. Um, but secondly, uh, every every person, like, you mean the kindred, right? Like, not... Yes. Like, every person? I, I don't want to go into how mortals are able to have psychokinesis. That's a different matter altogether. But, uh, yes, this would affect kindred and duskborn as well. There would be no separation. The only problem is... is I think I could only get up to a certain branch. Um, <laughs> back to that cane thing. Uh, if we assume sure. there is only one progenitor, mm -hmm. that would be great. I don't think that's true. But I think I can get up to a certain lineage in the tree. It's like um, when you put dye in the carnations, you get to see it filter out, right? Um, yeah. But if there is a carnation that does not share the same vase, it will not die. It, right? It's too mm -hmm. far away. It's separated. Yep. Okay. So, certain bloodlines, I think. Oh, uh, what about, um, uh, freaking, uh, Danny. Danny's famous. Or, Danny's famous? There, there. Danny's famous. Remember? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, um, Ch that was notes. a it's awesome. Uh, uh, hard, hard castle, hard castle, McCormick, hard, Hardy Boys, Hardy Hard Boys, Stats. Hardy Boys, Hard Stats. <laughs> yeah, that. It's. I love the Hardy Boys. Sorry. Attractive. <laughs> oh. Hard castle, sorry, Hardy did. Boys, Hard stat. That's it. Hard stat. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's got famous blood or something. So like, so like Danny. 
Do you want me to go get her blood? Always. That's irrelevant. But y y oh, I'd like to keep samples of everybody. You can be nice. I realize that that might sound a bit like creating my own bank. It sounds exactly like that, but hey, you're doing it for good purposes. This this death ray is only for peaceful purposes. Yes. I get it. <laughs> well, it's um, like the A-bomb, right? Uh, the A-bomb was bad, Delia. A-bomb was bad. I mean, I, I know, like, you have a very different perspective on it than I do. Certainly, I wasn't, like, around when Heidegger was. But that was a bad bomb. Bad bomb. So, uh, this bad. would still be a bit of a bomb in New York, um... To be clear, uh... Yeah, but that's different. These people need a bombing. Um... See, that's... that's there it is. That's the A-bomb spirit. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> if I were to drop this A-bomb in New York... Can I go write something in my notes? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's gonna... It... The last time I did something, it had repercussions. This is going to have its own as well. Everyone, I can't control who. Good kindred, bad kindred, assholes, wonderful people, everybody. But New York's all made of all plan. kinds, and they're all going to get access to what they were rightfully owed. That's not always good. Does it delineate at all between, like, the different clans? Like, no. how we're, like, Tremere, Bruja, no. any of that? It's Absolutely everybody not. level? I want to level the playing field. I'm not looking to turn this into some weird clan superiority. No, oh, no, I just didn't know if it was, like, it's specifically targeted any way to, like, do an evening a certain direction. No, or give everybody the same abilities, because I know we all do different things. We're all would, capable of different stuff. It would basically give us access to what we always, what we should in that moment. Um, if I were to give you... I could give you a... She turns back to look at the case. I could give you a trial, but, um... Not in my lab. Um, but later, if you want, I have another mixed up. If you would like to first-hand feel... Do, do you want... Do you have, like, something you can just, like, lock me into? Or... I, I, what are you into up there? I would like to point out that the Blood of Potency, uh, uh, the, the curse specifically... It, the Toreador's curse is specific to like messes. If they are if they are in a location that's not aesthetic, it fucks them up. Ah, uh, okay. If oh. if the Bruja have to resist frenzy, it's harder for them to resist the frenzy as it gets stronger. So for Liz, it would be if she was in a place that was highly not aesthetic. Yeah, she might frenzy. With it getting harder and which, harder to resist that feeling. Which which is why I'm really glad that you're the, I asked about the state of the lab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I risk going in the other direction of like, oh, it's too pretty. But if it's really ugly, it's bad. So, yay, it, thank it's, you. It's oh. neutral and lacking in personality, so it's nice and safe. <laughs> yes. I learned a thing as a player. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, the, the, um, this is great and dangerous and i feel like we should definitely tell curtis about this uh do you oh maybe i'm getting the cart before the horse here but like do you have a deployment method like you could how do you get this out to people um do you have to drink it um well the last time i was able to affect things from a great distance with uh a black ad, a grape, and a microwave, and a few other things. So, you know, I'll have to use what shoestrings and bubble gum we got around the house. But depending on who I could get to help me, that would also depend on how we do it. Uh, but the bad news is that I'm very unpopular. Uh, the less MacGyvering, the better. So I will do whatever I can on my part to help. <laughs> it was a good show, wasn't it? Making it very creative. Yeah. But uh, Dean a microwave and a... No, I will ponder that another time. So grapes okay. are like membranes. So some, yeah, it's inventing time. They are like membranes. Don't worry about it. So, okay. Again, do you have to drink it, or can it be like absorbed another way? Or there's no need for. The, uh, I don't need to form like a line and have everybody sample. This would 
ideally happen and maybe they won't even know. Which I imagine would be, we would probably need to make them know so that they're more likely to, um, you know, not roll over when the fight comes. What about... Okay. Okay. What about the city sprayers that, like, help with, like, bugs and stuff? So, worrying about deployment, uh, it could. But I need to worry about the energy to conduct something this wide scale first. Um, oh yeah, sorry. I got really excited about figuring that out because that was easier than yeah, yeah. than, than finding energy, me friends. Energy, I know. Well, I mean, energy in terms of like you wanting like I gotta get up and go today, or like energy in terms of like you need to get people's blood or something. Uh, probably a little, little bit on column two. Um, normally, you know. A lot of the Tremere who were raised in the pyramid when they need help doing something bigger than themselves, a uh, really wide scale working, they just kind of have friends that they grew up with, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. She nods as her head goes mm -hmm. like, I have no idea what she's talking about. Uh huh. Oh, mm, I've seen that look. No, it's, yeah, I, yeah, a pyramid schemes. I get like a Ponzi thing. I get it. Wait a minute. Do you not know what the pyramid is? It's a really? Tremere thing. It's like you you guys uh, hang out. Liz has one dot in politics. You guys, like, organize yourself into a little, like, triangle pyramid thing. It's, 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 it's... <laughs> really the cheerleaders. They're not cheerleaders. <laughs> no, I know. We physically, Charlie. I... Although apparently you're a cheerleader. We need to talk about what you did earlier. What? Um, Lots of stuff. Why anyway... aren't you on one of the stages on my night? I've got a karaoke night that really could use you. Was there singing at the only... Anyway, I don't understand. I thought they were... So, do you need more tre uh, Tremere, is what you're saying? Yes. And what I'm telling you Got is it. that they don't like me. So. Oh, well, that's fine. People love me. I'll just tell them I'm you. <laughs> that was a joke, honey. That was a joke. But listen, I've been arm candy before. I can be arm candy again. It's it's We can... We can, can how pissed could the Tremere possibly be at you? Charlie just You're... watches Delia's face very carefully now. <laughs> I, she, like, I, I'm claps her hands very... idly in her lap. Just like... I, I could dive into oh. your brain to find out, and I'm trying very hard not to. <laughs> no brain diving. You're, you're done with brain diving for the day. I would be so uh, good at it. I, I you know you would be amazing at it, but no, I have a feeling you Danny, might also. I wonder what Danny's why? thinking right now. Oh, <laughs> why? Charlie's hands slowly clasp in front of Liz's mouth for like half a second, this and then she goes, to Liz a "Why? Lot. Why is it that the Tremere don't like you, Delia?" <laughs> well, I imagine you might not actually know what the pyramid is either. Question mark. You had explained it a you had explained it a little bit when we first met, but a lot has happened. Okay, fair. Um, fair. fair. <laughs> but I we were... I know there's the beckoning and they go to that and then you made like a beckoning junior and they went to you instead and ah. that's when everything happened with Curtis. I <laughs> may I may be pissed every my problem started before that. Yeah. Um Okay. The problem is, is that uh, while all the other Tremere in the city had to be kept one step away from a total blood bond during their time in the pyramid, I wasn't. I never experienced the period myself. Oh, mm so. -hmm. Was, was that by design? Like, you kind of just went like, no, I don't like this particular shape, and like walked away, like, or... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this shape. Like, triangles killed my mother! <laughs> fuck, fuck geometry. This is not simple, and then left. <laughs> I'm a rhomboidal prism kind of person, per you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm too weird. I like it's circles, don't you know? Fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Trap is the way it's. Anyway. <laughs> So, but no, is, it wasn't really a choice thing. Just... Uh, I was kept, uh, okay. I was an unsanctioned brace. <laughs> I wasn't really uh, proofed. Uh, 
Um, yeah, th- my, my sire skipped the approval process. Is that, like, what the the Venture apparently have and stuff like that? Or is is it the same way where you have to bring them to a higher up and go, Hi, I would like this! And then <laughs> they go, like, yes or no. I want this one, Papa! <laughs> Charlie would have been... Uh, Charlie would know about one of the traditions being the... Uh, you have to basically present and request uh, authority to make a, a new childer. If you embrace without... Um, Mm-hmm. Without sanction, you need to kill them immediately to avoid being killed yourself, and then yeah, having them get killed. That's why she's essentially going like, "Is it just like the how much for that shoulder in the window? Like, is that how this goes?" Like, uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. okay, is that is that how is it for how it is for everybody, or are some of them like kind of uh-huh. like fucking like fuck it? Okay, it's uh-huh. everyone. It's a whole other thing that I have to think about. Before. Anyway. Get, I, unclass pans. <laughs> I don't sweat anymore. It's good for you. <laughs> you taste like flowers. Thank, thank you. When did I touch flowers? Anyway. Oh, uh, okay. So you... Wow. I have so many questions! So, so let me let me also just put the unsanctioned embrace spared the fact that they all I didn't have to do the whole triangle thing yeah, yeah. um but okay. also during that time I was busy working for the inquisition you did you did say you worked for both sides I did I did and I never got to fucking ask you about it it was so much happening all the time and people keep uh, dying and I just out don't the know door. What to do. Down the hallway. (laughs) What did I just write? What does that note say? Oh, it says witch. (laughs) I don't know why I wrote that there. So Liz just left? Yeah, up and out of the room and down towards the living room. Just whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't mm, think Liz is going to want to try and pretend to be me now. Delia, what did you do? That's... For the Inquisition. Okay, so thank you for closing that sentence up a little bit. Uh, well, uh, I worked uh, with Fox to create the Phosphorus rounds, and um, he stole my fucking oh. invention, for starters. Um, so, the blank bodies. Uh, humans can protect themselves because of me. As I'm, I'm, it turns out I'm pacing the hallway, and I come back by the door, and it's like, yeah, they could kill us real good, too. Keeps pacing. Yeah, maybe it evens it out a little bit. <sighs> so, wait, so you're, you're, you're Sire, Project Boatman. Okay. Yeah. He stole the phosphorus runs from you? Uh, no, we, then, no. Uh, or was it something else? That I was stole? embraced to be his assistant. Yes. Okay. But at that time, I was already technically kind of like a doctor, which was really unheard of and really cool. And I was, but point is, yeah, it was, sure. it's kind of, you have like a team and mm-hmm. we worked on things together, but the chaos scope's mine. That's mine. It shouldn't actually be something they could deploy yet, but I didn't, when I made it, <laughs> it needed a very sizable computation device and things have gotten a lot smaller. Did you just say the words chaos scope? Yeah, it's a head pokes itself back into the doorframe. I'm gonna rewind that a little bit. What what's a chaos scope do? And why do they have one? Uh, should we be worried? Yeah, probably. Okay, I, I don't mean, like you should have been worried before head. too. Uh, no, I do. my blood pressure. Well, I guess I don't have blood pressure anymore. Just tell me what a chaos scope is. Um, well, they're able to discern us, even if we do the blush of life. Everyone thought that as long as you did the blush of life once you had to, like, hop a plane to go visit, you know, your homelands, right? Uh, you would be fine. Oh, yes. Those things. Got you. Your fault. Wow. Mm, no, Oof. those things are... Those are child's play. Those were only sensing 
the temperature of the body, which is why everyone was dumb and they thought that that would be fine if they just increased the temperature. It doesn't read the temperature of your body. Mine is more sophisticated. It By reads. doing what? Reading your soul. Oh! <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you scienced out soul searching? I had a lot of time. I'm sure... I, I had a lot of time. No, okay. Housewives have a lot of time. <laughs> people... The people who like are laid up with a bum leg and can't go out have a lot of time. Delia, you just found the equation for the soul. That's not a lot of time, honey. Did, it was that's a, the, the theory of relativity soul? on a metaphysical scale. Does it? Does it? Does it read everybody's soul? Is it only our souls, or is it like the souls of everybody? Like, can you read human souls? Like. You, can you can you read Samson's soul? Can you is it all souls? <laughs> Please keep saying soul. It hasn't lost all meaning yet. <laughs> this is like you like, saunter back into the room and plop down. This is like a horoscope from hell. I don't. <laughs> so, my my in what I was working on uh, in life was uh, um, actually what Liz so then? easily Even... throws around. Um, are the mortal capability for psychoenergetics, uh, the ability to move things with their mind, um, to see things from far off distances. That was my specialty. So oh, it was man, a bridge related thing. And we had a lot of assets to test. You were on some MK Ultra shit, huh? Grilled Flame? Uh, NX1? It doesn't matter. They kept on changing the names because on paperwork, as long as it's funded differently, it's harder to track. Uh, yeah. Charlie, how many government yeah. spooks do you know? Is it? Is I just every, break. I me? just break into. I just break into farm pseudocom companies and oil fields in my free time. Okay. Uh, right. Batman. No, it's only me. God, maybe I should sell the club to Danny. Um. Okay. 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 I feel like we've lost the thread a little bit here. You're some kind of fucked up vampire genius, brilliant, amazing thing. And you may not even be a genius because you're a vampire, because you were you've been a genius since the forties or You're very smart. I don't say that's you enough. I don't think I realize just how fucking smart you are. The answer is very. This yeah, is a lot to process. Shit. All of us have things in our past we're not proud of. That's fine. I get it. Whatever. Humans are just people. They certainly need it help and there's definitely some draculas out there that i could really do with putting a bullet inside of again and again and again and again and again yeah what we need to worry about right now yes <laughs> is you have a means to arm people against hopped up humans on god knows what and whatever else the venture or at least this guy in charge of the venture is planning to deploy on new york this is good news this is great this means we stand a chance we have something approaching a plan. We don't have a plan, but at least we have a Death Star that we can point at Rebels. Bad analogy, but the point remains. <sighs> so what do we do now? I was gonna it's call gonna Fox and see if I could convince Fox to help. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... I made her before I even knew you! I... Okay, Listen, my I... Name is... I know, it, my name I is really Fox like for the same reason. Files. I really yeah. like the X Files. <laughs> I get it. I just really love the X Files too. <laughs> this moment is so great. Someone I, I saw an interview with Chris Carter and I realized it's a good name anyway. I'll get. Okay, calling Fox. This is this is great. This is he clearly. I mean, he sired you and he wasn't supposed to do that. So, yeah, you trust this guy, right? Like. Say yes, please. Lie to me if you have to. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I think I think Fox also... Fox knows all my dark secrets, right? So it's not like they could, you know, say no. You're uh, you're deplorable. What does Fox not... work for now? Oh. Devil's like... <laughs> He's a bit of a free agent. Um... 
Oh, so sorry, he doesn't work for the Inquisition anymore. I just felt a need to confirm that for my own brain. Oh, well, I called last time when I was asking if, um, if he knew anybody working with, um, well, anyway, uh, he said he didn't know anybody, uh, but he might still have ties. Oh, maybe he can find out what they're doing and what we're waiting two, two weeks for the doom. Well, the two-week doom is. I want to know what the two-week doom is so I can be prepared. And Out of character, by the way, um, I don't remember if you guys found out about the judge last episode and I was watching and I remember it, or if you guys found out about the judge. Judge. The judge you don't coming. Have to remind me. Um... I think that oh, was fuck, last totally episode. Did. Oh god. Yeah, I forgot. I, hi, yes. Okay, cool. Shit. I was double checking as a player. <laughs> I totally forgot. That's yeah, no, no, no. Apparently that's fair. not in my notes because I got caught up in the scene last I'm time. I'm looking at. Yeah, it's a a, a Ventru dude. Like that's the the the, I, the the the. I I did write in big letters. It's fucking Seek Bear. Like in <laughs> the bottom of this one page. No, I. Uh, oh, do I yes, know. the Justicar. Thank you. Just, just yeah. The just judges just are just the car. new word. That's for why the... I was like, wait. Yeah. It was like the one that Sloan punched. I got really confused for. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, yes. no, the, sorry. The right. Yeah. There's a venture justice yes, 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 yes. coming in. Also. Yes. Boy, yes, it's been a yes, yes, busy yes. night. Huh. <laughs> You're welcome for making you think about Carl Urban. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I mean. Hey. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah, I could possibly call Vox. I was thinking of asking if they could help, but. They're, I don't think that they're local, uh, so they might need some time to get here, which is fine, because okay. they could help me with the actual work itself. But the okay. fallout of what's going to happen? I do think we need to tell Curtis about it. A thousand percent, Curtis needs to know about everything that's going on right now. Like, we need to put this in front of him and go, hey, friends. Ah, whoo, bad. There's just a card. Um, wait, wait, what was that? And... and I didn't mention the Justicar, the Venture Justicar. What about that? I didn't the, mention that. No, you did, did not. Mention, I'm sorry. Darling, darling. No, let's also... Deary, did you... Did, I is this out thing... of my mind! She was making oatmeal! Did you fail to mention something about a Justicar? That's dumb. Why would you mention a Justicar? That'd be terrible. Yeah, it would be terrible, wouldn't it? Um, so, <laughs> what are you doing in two weeks? Because let me tell you, he's got a date with New York City. I asked you, what the... I mean, a little bit, yeah. Okay. No, th no, this is good. There was... This is good. There was a lot happening, and we had to deal with a lot of bullshit from the Ventru who didn't mm -hmm. really like us, and I'm a Bruja, and a Venture cave. Danny's really bad. intense, okay? Like... Mm -hmm. Blame it on Danny. This one's worried well, about good. Carthage. She's, I'm she worried can't hear about you. She's not Germans. watching with the security cams right now. I, I forgot about Carthage and all that, and then remembered when I was surrounded, and I went, oh, no. Just anyway, like, yeah, we got distracted. Sorry. Would. Yeah, sorry. And yep, yeah, that just just the cars coming um to town, just like a bad Santa. It's bad. <laughs> what bad Santa? <laughs> Cr oh you no, that Krampus is very neutral. Anyway, okay, no, no, this is good. This is good. This means we know what the hell looks like. Now we could fashion our our weapons against what we know is going to surely try and crush us. So, so what's interesting is that um. Curtis has been trying to keep New York, like, a Camarilla state. Uh-huh. The Venture would have to have something that would make, uh, I, I imagine the, the old Camarilla think that we're not, not, like, sticking to the rules. Does anyone have any idea what well, that would be? Well, we're not sticking to the rules here in New York. I mean, Curtis set up this whole weird... Uh, uh, oh god, my mind is blanking. Democracy? Uh, what? <laughs> Instead of this whole, like, weird democracy system, it's not exactly like we have a primogen council. That's the word I was trying to think of, it's a primogen. Uh, it's, unlike, it's unlike our primogen, or our, our, you know, thereby right of unholy writ or something, you know, with the blood and the sucking and the I'm your sire shit. You really think that the Camarilla is, like, jazzed about that? Well, not jazzed, but to send a Justicar for... Election seems a little much. They're vampires. Everything's a little much. 
listen, it's a power play of the highest order, and and I, I get it. It's it's unusual to say the least, but bold moves were made in the city. Bold moves are being made in response. We're about to make a bold move ourselves. So um, maybe we'll all survive it. There must be etiquette involved, right? Like, uh, if this is someone from the old world, they would adhere to etiquette because that's literally what they're fighting for. This bullshit sure. dogmatic nonsense. What is the etiquette of a Justicar coming to the city? Uh, I don't know, maybe some kind of show of, like, a, like a vote of no confidence kind of thing in Curtis's rule? I, I'll be honest, that level of politics is kind of beyond me. Mm. Uh, what level of politics does Delia have and what... Uh, if there is any specialty, uh, I have three base in politics with a specialty of Camarilla. Oh yeah, you would know that there would be an Elysium held to welcome oh. them and find out exactly what the word is from the High Council of the Camarilla. Basically, ah. just guitar, just a car doesn't come into town. Okay, like John Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just cars coming to town. <laughs> when a just a car arrives in town, it is a big deal, and if it's known that they're showing up, they usually make once they make themselves known that they are there, then there is an immediate court procedure to see what they want, see what needs to be done. Is this done openly, like in any Elysium, or is it like closed doors only? It's usually done in an Elysium. Um, they can make it a closed meeting if they want. Uh, essentially, Justicar have clan and Camarilla authority over every, over pretty much their entire, uh, they're higher than Prince, essentially. Okay. Okay, so in the next two weeks, there's probably going to be a party. I love parties. Yeah. I hate them. None of the parties have turned out well recently. Right? Yeah. I think... There's so... one from every clan, essentially, that is a charter clan of the Camarilla. Currently, uh, that involves the Ventru, Nosferatu, Toridor, La Sombra... <laughs> And I think that may be it because the Bruja, uh, just a car, the Bruja just a car let was Theo Bell. He <laughs> killed Hardstot and said Bruja don't belong in the Camarilla anymore. And, uh, and the Tremere are still part of the, the council as well. Uh, you know, the ones that aren't dead. Gangrel used to be, and then uh, the Gangrel left recently. They're the most recent uh, bail on the Camarilla. Fuck this shit on now. <laughs> That's all they did. So, I think, well, uh, we have to find out if there's an Elysium being called. That would be the, our first heads up that the Justicar is, is announcing themselves to the city. Because okay. you'll usually have a, a meeting. And I don't know if it's going to be open or closed, but that's where uh, traditionally it w would happen. Mm. So, huh. so you're saying we're going to have all these powerful people in one place then? Yeah. You know, the last time you were involved in something like that, a crowbar also was involved. Oh, and they had to go to Philly. Um. Well, now we don't have to go that far. <laughs> Listen, I'm not... Charlie, I'm not saying we burn down another club, for the record, but she's I mean, eating oatmeal. If you want to start a revolution, I that's certainly a place to start it and make a real big point. I don't know when the Elysium is going to be called, but if it's possible, find that out. That is good. Um, if we were to be able to pull this off before the Elysium happens, and we were able to get word out that these changes really went through and I don't magically fuck it up again. Um, then people's opinions politically might shift before they have to now speak to the politics of the city. Mm. So you're saying we, <laughs> we'd start going around to what the, the heads of all the 
burrows and start telling them that this is what's coming down the pike? I don't really... Sorry if that sounded incredulous. I actually legitimately meant that as a question. I'm just very tired. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't necessarily know the best way to convince people. I mean, once it happens, unless they know to feel for it, I guess, they might not believe or know it even happened. Well, we know someone that can call an Elysium. If he'll ever text us again. I hope he's mm. not dead. <sighs> Seems like a good. I mean, if they're not going to listen phone. to us, they're going to listen to the prince. Probably. Possibly. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe. Uh, if he doesn't bring a bucket of chicken. Still think that that's wonderful. Anyway, I have I to. I still have to call Fox. I have to call Fox and see if he'll help. Okay. Then let's start we there. We need to find out if Lucas is free as well. Yeah. Um, and I, I guess Curtis is at least alive, so that doesn't change the politics too much for us in that way. That's good. Yeah. He texted really quick, so he's on the move somewhere. I just... I uh, don't... Would Charlie know where, like, his safe holds are? Like, where he goes to, like, hide? Oh, I hope and... he don't have to go to the sewers again. You would know some of his safe houses, but you also know he's got a lot of ways that he, it compartmentalization is a thing. Oh, yeah. What what ones does she know? She knows about his old sewer complex one. Uh and there's maybe one or two in uh in Manhattan that you know about and there is the one underneath City Field. Do you mind refreshing my actual brain about what City Field is? It's the stadium yeah, that the Mets idea. play in. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Is that that replaced Shea just... Stadium. Oh, that one I've heard of. Got it. This is the one that's flooded right now, is it? No, it was a different stadium. Hurricanes are crazy. Anyway. <laughs> They're no good. They're no um, kind of good. And, well, he could be moving in lots of places, and I know I probably know a percent of the places he's got, but we're talking a couple of places in Manhattan, under the stadium, sores, but other than that, I got nothing, and I'm sure he's got it done. So I don't know where he's moving to, but... May as well be on the Hopefully. moon for all that it matters to us at the moment. Listen, uh, does anybody else know about the, the Lucas popsicle that's floating around like is there anybody else we can contact to check on this besides curtis uh curtis didn't trust the sheriff but it seemed like he might have trusted the scourge that would be my only guess uh cute kid in the dress uh, remember one of them yeah I, he was working with one of the nikolai um during the first elysiums we came together and uh he used one of the Nikolai also to reach out to me when I was supposed to not be existing, right? So that okay. would be my guess for someone safe to reach out to. Well, then until and unless uh, Curtis gets a hold of us, we just got to reach out to uh, Nikolai. Z for what reason again? Uh, to find out what the Wait, deal is Lucas. with the... Lucas. Lucas. Yeah, Lucas. To find out if Lucas is still secure. No, that's understandable, apparently. Um, so, you get a hold of Fox, then. See if you can get some more, you know, hocus pocus going on. And then I'm gonna go step off the balcony, because it's gonna be a lot easier than what's coming ahead. No, nope. <laughs> No, well, well, or, 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 or we can see about finding out about this whole situation. I have, um... I have the information for one of the Nikolai, if you guys want to reach out. Um, Charlie, oh, she really, yes. you also should have her phone number because you're making her that sign. I did make a sign. It was very glittery and she liked it she like, a lot, apparently. So That's good. <laughs> she didn't light you on fire. That's swell. Yeah, no, I consider that a win. No fire. No fire. We're putting a moratorium on fire. <laughs> Again, it was only that one time that it was us. Prometheus can have it back at this fucking point. Jesus. All right. Anything else? I think that's all the stuff we had. 
think so. We think of anything okay. else, though. No, Danny's busy uh, clickety clacking away on the computer clinkies, so I'm sure we'll I get more from dipping. her at some point. Yeah. Um, Danny's working, uh, really, really, really busy because she's doing a lot of work for a lot of people. I yeah, I dropped like now. four hard drives from Fox on Danny's door one day a few weeks back. Um, it was supposed to have some information because I I did ask Fox about you know the Inquisition and stuff. It's not like I didn't ask; it's just I didn't tell anybody about it. But I did ask. That's fine. Oh, that's Yelly. fine. That's okay. Circumstances are circumstances. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Phone call time. If you want, yeah, just say you're gonna. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting on you. All right. We'll leave you to it then. Eat oatmeal. <laughs> well, if you're gonna to, wait, sit there you eating get... oatmeal, I'll just put this on speaker. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, do you need? Do you, do you? Would you like some privacy? I think is is Charlie no... is, is what Delia's might. No, no, no. It's fine. Uh, Danny monitors all the phone calls in here anyway. It's fine. But you just start. Oh, I was gonna say I <laughs> I won't use my heightened senses if you don't want me to. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. She's just gonna start. Uh... Oh, that's awkward. Now that I think about it. Oh, why? Boy. Were you? Were you no, not a hotline. No, just my friends and I are weird sometimes. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We use. Okay, it. right. Okay. Ba -da 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 -ba 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 -da. That's the sound of a phone. Ba -da -ba. It rings twice, and then, um... Speaker. Um... Uh, hello? Heidi ho It's Delia. Oh! Delia! Good to hear from you. I was just thinking of calling you soon. Really? Well, uh, yes. Uh, I, I received your little, um, package. Did you read today. it? Did you read it? Did you yes. read all of it yet? Yeah, I've... I've Yes, twice. Twice. Yes, twice. So, um, I have to ask. So, so your theory revolves around the concept of dominant, uh, genomal heredity, and uh, I, I, I'm really curious. Uh, which, which part of the strain did you go at first? Uh, do you think this really draws from? Uh, a, a place of metaphysical, or 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 would this be more of a physiological aspect? Are we speaking of? She kind of like swells. She looks down at the phone. Uh, I should also, before we get talking, um, I have two friends with me. Uh, who should say hello? Oh, your assistants. Hi. Yes. <laughs> I I love to reverse the polarity on the tubular bells. <laughs> Hi. I, I always uh, knew Hi. Elizabeth speaking. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth a botanist. Mueller. Hello. <laughs> oh, the botanist is the one Bot Curtis gave me. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. I always knew you would work better in a team. Oh, oh this is this is astounding work. Um, what what what, what would you what would you be seeking to do with it though? There's some very interesting applications I could think of. What are your ideas? You tell me. Because I had an idea of what I was planning on doing with it, but if you have a few other ones... Oh, uh, well, um... I don't think I... I'm at liberty to really speak. What does that, what does that even mean? Um, but, uh, ideally... I, I want to make it so that I don't have to make another fucking blood of potency uh, concoction for my friends ever again. Ideally, I want it so that everyone has access to the same pool. Oh. Ideally, I want to level fucking New York. Oh. Well, that's, that's, that's a lot of... Yes, yes, that's that, a lot. Yeah, that is, that is quite Am a bit. Am I overreaching again? No, no, no. not at all. Really? No, the, the last no. Uh, thing you worked on, that also very... Uh, advanced, and uh, I don't know if I agree with what you want to do with it. Pardon? 
there's people that I don't think should have access to the whole code. But, but this that's is subjective. This is just too intriguing to not try, though. Subjectively, I do agree. There are some people I do not think they will use things properly. Well, we are uh, uh, in our interest. Well, before you get into the ethics of it, I want to remind you what my motto was every time we've been working together. Don't ask why, just ask how. So you'll help? Oh, no. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that's fantastic. You know, I have no one out here, and um, I, I was worried that the amount of uh, energy I would need to harness for a, an effect that large, I, I mm, do you have anyone who could help? Oh, well, um, well, I could help you. You're my childer, as, yes, of course, we are, uh, uh, separated by a great many miles, and, um, and, uh, our bloodline has had a bit of a shock to the system, uh, since Vienna, but, uh, well, um, we are still sympathetically connected, so I think any kind of working that you would attempt to do would be able to be done, uh, with, with myself, Even the, uh, being with part the distance? Of... Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. Well, okay, so the bad news then, since you've already agreed to do it, uh, we have a timetable because we think possibly Lucas might be working against us at the same time, uh, to, well, uh, opposing efforts. And New York. Yes. Oh, um, well, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's another challenge. Interesting. Hey, I live here. It's another, <laughs> it's, it's just another challenge added to the pile. And now you're just getting Ooh. me more interested. Hope you like a time challenge. It's two weeks. Yeah. Oh, that would beat my most recent record. Yeah. It's not a raceway, my dude. We're not talking about NASCAR here. But we will land. Cats living mean... together shit. Well, Do my you... my calendar has opened up. Um, we have wrapped on Project Boat, so I am very, uh, very free at the moment. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, uh, uh, well, part of part of my payment will be that you will do. Um... Do you have a telescope? I could invest in one. Mm. We could buy a telescope. I'll give you. I'll, I'll give you coordinates to aim it to. Uh, I need you to keep a recording of it. Uh, I, I need to see if there's any um, destroyer-shaped anomalies that might there's be in the sky. But there's I, specifically there are facilities across the United States alone that all. I'm doing this on the hush hush. Uh, uh, the paperwork says, with with according to the full paperwork of Project Boat, that uh, it was a complete failure and uh, we lost all materials in the process and uh, we are moving on. But I'm very convinced that it's just Displaced. a trans... Uh, yes, a translocation, I think, was achieved. Oh my god, we have to find your boat. Oh, I love trans people. <laughs> There's one right here. Hi. You don't got to look very hard for us. No, no, translocation. New York. <laughs> Charlie just hugs Liz, like from behind, just like oh, you're so wonderful. <laughs> uh, Sorry, apologies. I, I I cut tension and techno babble with humor. Um, but but listen, it's <clears throat> we're all very grateful. We're all very grateful that you're going to be working together with our good friend Delia here, who is also great and amazing. To Let's save the kindred of New York. Mm -hmm. Um, so but you're yeah. sneezing. We can um <laughs> stop putting your character. So we can get you a telescope. We can get you any kind of telescope. Danny! You need a telescope! <laughs> Danny could, could probably, probably just... hack into the Hubble. Uh oh. like as I said, I want to keep this off major. Oh shoot. Thing. We do need our I will um Could she build I, a Hubble I, telescope? I have a Courier service on call. Have it out to you in the next day. Oh. All right. That sounds good. I could do that. Uh, I'll be waiting for any packages from you as well so that we can get started. I have a few things I have to make sure are on fire first. And then the implementation of 
project on them. Uh, I will able e This is gonna be fun. Well, I'll uh, I'll do one better. I do have some people within the house that do owe me favors. So maybe I'll spin up the Rolodex and see if I can get uh, some more hands on deck for this. Uh, once, once our great house fell, uh, after Vienna, uh, I still kept tabs on a few people. We helped each other out. So if I ask them to perform a little bit of will working, I might be able to convince them to do it as a favor. They're not going to have a problem. It's with me, right? No. Okay, good. No, I have ways to making sure that they'll do what they say. Yes, you do. Fantastic. I'll keep my eyes to the skies. And uh, also on your doorstep. And my yep. Oh yeah, the PO box. I would you trip know what otherwise. I mean. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. I'm I'm going to go back into the notes and start drawing up designs. Wonderful. I I will be in touch. Uh, uh, just quick question. Are we, uh, uh, would you prefer Key of Solomon or something a little more, um, modern? I'd been working, I'd been working with numerology because I think that mathematically that is the language that our current generation should be speaking. So, oh, but it's so, st it's so stiff. Were you going to say sterile again? That's the point. I guess I do understand that. I just, I don't know. There's no... The variables are what get me in trouble all the yes, time. Yes, yes. Wow, know. yeah, this is such... Uh, the variables, <laughs> am I right, Charlie? The va Woo! Those X equals something, who knows? Um, This is fantastic. Thank you so much, Fox, was it? That's a lovely name, by the way. <laughs> um, Honestly, just adore it. Uh, we will keep an eye out for any packages. <laughs> oh, I see... I see the. This is this is Liz. You, you said. Uh, yes, Elizabeth Mueller. Yes, thank you. Uh, Hi. Every. Every project needs a good taskmaster. I'm glad you hired one on as well. I'll. I'll I'll, I'll start working with the numerology, and I'll try to keep the. I I will try to keep my John Dism's out of it. <laughs> okay. Your good cooperation luck. is greatly appreciated and you and... hear <laughs> you hear the clunk you actually hear the phone hitting the the rack <laughs> receiver receiver yeah. before it hangs up knowing that he was on a old cable cord phone phones used to have cords kids oh no oh no phones used to be attached to your wall kids and i don't mean for charging their the fucking power on them <laughs> So, Delia, and I mean this in the nicest way possible, that explains a lot. Oh, I, well, at least he didn't say you must be the pretty one. That <laughs> usually goes really bad, but that is a default response when he thinks you're doing something dumb. <laughs> uh, well, I have no reasonable response to that, but <laughs> good job. This is good. This is great. You... You don't need to be personable or, or complex or, or have, you know, uh, millions of connections. You're very fucking fantastically smart, and you've come up through a, a tremendous amount of adversity. I admire that. Plus, again, that shirt is very good. Um, okay. And we wouldn't all be together if it wasn't for you, so... Ooh. Arguably... Well, this all started. This is your fault, really, if you think about it. Arguably, it might have been Curtis's fault, fault at least for you, anyway. But still, it's we all came together for one purpose, and it was kind of like under your banner. So, thank you for all the new awesome friends, including you. <laughs> there might be an equal amount of enemies, but I think it'll be worth it. I think that the cause is good enough to make a few enemies. I've considered I mean, I've pharmaceutical it. companies and oil fields my enemy for a long time, and they're a lot bigger. So, <laughs> I'm honey. I was. I was queer in the 70s. I'm used to enemies. Hold You're on. here and we're ready to fight. She goes into 
one of the cabinets and just starts struggling to pull the cabinet out. <laughs> it's you, a, wait, do you need help? Can you help? Yeah, can you help me move this? Just pull it forward. Just it's kind of more fun to watch you struggle, honestly. <laughs> we can both struggle together then and Charlie takes like another side of the cabinet and just is like one, two, three. <laughs> I don't breathe anymore. Liz enjoys the view. <laughs> Thank you. She goes behind, grabs a little shoebox out, pops the shoebox out. There's like a soot-covered jolly chimp in there that's seen some fire. There's some other crap. She pulls out an old, tattered, like, is this wet plate? I don't know. And brings it forward and shows Charlie, um... This is why it gets weird for me sometimes. Uh, this was my girlfriend. And she was the <gasps> picture of the nurse. Clambers over to look. <laughs> <laughs> the nurse with the a brown, well, it's a black and white, so you'll have to excuse that. But she had brown hair and similar. And she looks a little bit like you. Um, I hurt her really bad. So sometimes... You are both a really wonderful memory and a really terrible one. Charlie takes the picture and, and looks at it for a bit. How very much alike do they look? <laughs> it's like creepy. Oh no. That's creepy! <laughs> Actually, I got some on this shoulder. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you only been dead a little bit. You've been dead a long time. Look at you. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best. Aww. And that's why you oh, can't have a nurse god. uniform. Because my sense of time gets fuzzy looking at you sometimes. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of makes sense. I just thought... You even told Curtis, like, right down to the hair color, and I thought it was just because you liked brunettes. I didn't realize there was a whole... Curtis, you sneaky little shitball. <laughs> I sometimes have the problem of losing touch with everything around me when I'm working, and he properly installed a reminder for me. So... A, a good reminder or a bad reminder? You are a reminder, just as much as the college kids' bills I pay still, that I am still connected to this place, so it is a nice one. Wow. Okay. And that's why I will also say... Uh, I can't bear hurting... I know you're not the same person, I know that, but in my head... I don't want to be responsible for something that may break you like I broke her. So whatever is happening soon, I'm worried it, you might not get through this right. You saw how New York responded to the last vacuum. It was so small. It was so, so small compared to what we're looking to do now. I, I was... You mean the last, like, the war that <laughs> happened? Well, I mean, I thankfully didn't have to deal with that too much, but... I mean, I with the change either. of power for... When a lot of the elders, the last prince was... Seceded. When Curtis took over. He it wasn't was a... Short and brutish. Uh, yeah, the, the last prince wasn't terrible, to be clear, but he definitely was not going to be prepared enough to take care of. And her hand's gonna go up and towards the whiteboard, and just like, Siegbert, what he wants to do, the Inquisition, all of this. This was all started... Before Curtis was prince, this isn't a, this isn't even from that. This is sizable, and I think it's been in the works for a really long time. I 
Charlie looks at the keeps looking at the photo and looks up at Delia. What was her name? Laurel. Laurel? That's pretty. I mean, it was a happy ending after some very terrible things for her, but Laurel ended up finding someone later on and she passed away. She's been dead for a very, very long time. Uh, but I still take care of uh, their son, so I still keep an eye on the city in lots of ways. And you're a part of this city, and I want to keep an eye on you too. If that means telling you maybe you should protect yourself right now, that feels like the right thing to say. I... Well, with everything that's happened recently, there's just... It's a lot. And... I certainly didn't imagine half the things that happened since I got here, and I've only been here a little while. Mind you, that doesn't make me want to leave and run. I don't want to run. I'm... I was embraced and told that I was doing- I was gonna be part of this big thing. I was gonna be able to make a big change, and I always thought maybe it was an, like an eco-protection thing or something. The things that I protest all the time, but maybe that's not what it is. Maybe it's more of a- it's conservation of a type, but it, it's for us. It's not- it's not just about, like, the environment around us. It's literally us. Maybe that's why- I, maybe- Maybe Val foresaw that, and I- I didn't think of it that way at the time. Not like I can ask him. I haven't talked to him in a long time, but, uh... You don't talk to your sire at all? Not since what happened with my dad. Cause well, he can't say so, blame you there. Also, I- uh, I'm led to understand time heals all wounds, and you have a superfluous amount of that. I... Admittedly, I don't know how I'd react if I saw him now. It's very complicated. Um, but... All of this is very complicated. What's gonna unfold in the next two weeks? Uh, with everything that's going on... It is... A lot, and... I want to help as much as I can, but my my head's in so many places, and I do feel like I need to clean up one mess before I get involved in this one. So I know that leaving now for a little while is weird. But it also makes it so that I can be completely at your disposal. And that I'm not going to keep fucking up random shit because my brain's in too many places. I got a phone call the other day about, like, my mom's assets and the house and all that stuff back in PA. And I, I need to handle that. Uh, and... I- I won't be alone, which is nice for that. Uh... I talked to Luke, who's kind of stitched himself up together again, when he's... Was he still he's a cocoon? Gonna help me out. Apparently he's- he's pretty much done with whatever kind of crazy shit he's doing, Zamiti propaganda shit he's doing, he's apparently done. Um, but he's gonna kind of keep me on track with getting through that stuff so I can get back here. And, because I will get lost in kind of my whole thing. But, when that's all done, it's a chapter that closes for me. And the next chapter is, well, she kind of looks both to Liz and Delia and motions to everything goes, it's this, and you guys, and 
whatever's coming our way next, I, I'm here to help. I told you that day one when I walked in here, well, not in here, but in your life, that I'm here to help you, and I intend to keep that. Even when you lost and I your memory, be... you said as much, actually. So you've told me twice. <laughs> and I'm... Oops. I don't want anything getting in the way of me helping you. So the second I'm back, I'm ready to get to work. I'm gonna try and make sure that the place you come back to is gonna be a little better. And we'll all make it even better than that together. Because I don't want to think about what happened if we didn't. <laughs> oh, oh, now I'm thinking about it. So, well, it's not an option, so don't. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna do it. And everything's gonna be fine, and we're gonna have an actual party where crazy shit doesn't happen unless we want it to. I'm gonna watch you eat cake! Yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah! Cake. I love cake. Liz, do you like cake? Sorry, I got a little lost in the conversation. I was really waiting for the point where the two of you were gonna kiss. Um, <laughs> cake is great. I love cake. Love to eat cake. <laughs> it never gets old in this house. <laughs> I feel like you're a pie fan. Just covered... I'm just gonna throw that out there. No, no, no. I'm I'm definitely more of a cake. Like covered in frosting, lick all that frosting off. It's great. I'm here alone, struggling I was to about pie where, Like a cherry pie. You know what? I'm not even gonna play this game. It's fine. <laughs> <sighs> that worked. Anyway, Charlie, you look really cute in a nurse uniform. I'm just saying. But, um... Listen. <sighs> Chuck, if you need to get the fuck out of town, ain't nobody around here gonna blame you one whit. You've got a lot on your plate right now, and you've had a lot of shit shoveled on top of your head, so push or put the food inside your mouth, push the shit pile off of your dome. It's not a good look for you. <laughs> Get yourself straight. Or, well, <laughs> looks at Delia. Yeah. You know what I mean. And, uh... Say hi to Luke for me, of course, next time you talk to him. I will. <laughs> Miss that big idiot. <sighs> no. Do what you gotta do. Listen, I don't blame anybody for getting out of the way of the fucking bullet train that's coming down the tracks at our faces right now. I did say the word A-bomb be... a lot within the last hour. You said the word A-bomb so much! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like a history book didn't say it as much as we did in the last, like, ten minutes, but... I... Some could argue that I am, in fact, a very fleshy history book, so... That works. You know what? I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you that. Because I feel like that would be true. I've learned a lot of things in the last... How the you know, fuck long have I even been here? I don't even remember. Time is... is fake. about four minutes. You know, I can't read things by touching them. You don't want to watch Charlie, this. <laughs> Charlie removes her hands. <laughs> I don't know. That's an awfully cute picture of you and your girlfriend. Like, nudges Delia. It's 8th grade, though. <laughs> like, I'm... Big poor sure. lesbian you. God damn. We're useless, aren't we? I, I don't like where that's going. Um, I keep wanting to say she's really cute, but now that I kind of feel like it would be, like... It'd be kind of weird. Self-complimentary, yeah. Uh, but isn't it... It's good that you feel uncomfortable, too, now. I really... <laughs> I like I I know today Wait, was no, about what? leveling Hang the playing on, no. field. But... Okay. <laughs> Time out for the kindred here. <laughs> Charlie, come on, come over here, Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie is coughing. She doesn't need to, but she is. <laughs> Delia, come here. Just come, 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 come. Everybody over here. Everybody comes over to Liz now. Okay. Jeez, are you okay. gonna read both of us at the same time? You might explode. Oh my God. I've seen Calm a war. Some. Four, three. Sometimes I'm just nice, okay, people? Yeah. Listen. Okay. 
Delia, you're a very attractive woman. Charlie, you're also extremely cute. I'm fucking amazing. That's not even a question. <laughs> the point is, is that we're all very beautiful people who have led very hard and very precarious lives. But through adversity, we have found ourselves here together, looking fierce, fabulous, and fanged. Okay? That was very beautiful. You're all good people. If I had a car, I would want that as a bumper sticker. I don't think that, I think that's a masquerade breach, honey. I don't. Bumper There's sticker. A huge, like, just vampire bumper sticker. Community. I bear my soul to these women, that... these wonderful women who have Liz! worked so hard through all Liz! their lives. Bumper sticker. Liz! I find bumper stickers very <laughs> inspirational, damn it. <laughs> Matt. Maybe I'll make we, you oatmeal. Maybe we have Liz tell everyone they wake up with magical powers. I feel like if we gave Liz like one of the bullhorn things that I use in protests, like every state on the East Coast would know. I mean, it's something we could propose to Curtis when we ever get yeah. in contact with him. Yeah, what the fuck? Is he okay? Just just picks up her phone is just like looking to see if she, he like texted or anything as you do Does that Curtis like reach out oh boy <laughs> the doorbell rings the fuck Delia picks up Charlie's phone you... thank you I don't think Fox I... sent it that fast she... oh, who the hell is he Let's see. Are we the safe house? Are we the safe house? We might be the safe house. Charlie just like runs <laughs> out. <laughs> Why well, has it always had the feeling of Christmas Day when Charlie goes goes a running? Just like, <laughs> and it's like surprisingly light because the gymnast thing. Like mm -hmm. you have to stay light on your feet, so it's just like that little <laughs> pitter patter. Even though she's like you know an adult, an in adult. size. <laughs> She's five five. She's not that. Sh she's taller than me. <laughs> she's my height. Oh, she's taller than me. <laughs> just passes <laughs> Liz, who's still yeah, just, yelling about bumper stickers. I'm just, I'm just the bumper sticker with the well. <laughs> and it's just like I think Curtis is here. Just yum. <laughs> <laughs> to the front door. <laughs> Charlie just, opening the front door. There, is there a people or anything? Yes, or there's a camera a people. or she's like huh? <laughs> people. There's oh, Curtis oh. and the fisheye of the of the peephole just kinda rocking on his heels. Hands behind his back. Thank whatever gods that are listening and just opens the door. <laughs> it's just like Curtis. Hey, Cinnamon Bun, what's going on? Hey. Lots of things. Come on in. Oh, why, thank you. Uh, I don't think we actually have that, but yeah, sure. And just walks in. <laughs> Zillia throws her head outside of the lap. How many holes does he have? See, does he look okay? Does he just look like Two. Curtis, but a little, like, haggard? Uh, Friend, he, how he many actually, holes do you have? He looks kind of chipper. Uh, I think he has the right amount of holes. He seems pretty happy. He's not leaking? She's holding some medical equipment in her hands. Can no, we not Curtis yell leaking? across the house. Are we not civilized people? Sure. Just she yells across the house. <laughs> I'm putting her stuff down to join her in the living room. <laughs> Welcome to our humble abode, Prince. Oh, uh, so formal. <sighs> no, we don't do that. No, it. Uh, well, Curtis, okay. please, for the cr oh, Curtis, Jesus. Looking them up and down. Mind if I smoke? Thanks. It just wait. I'm just. Have you two? Gonna yeah. stand. I'm. I'm good. I don't need to sit down. Uh. So. You got my texts. Eventually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, my uh, phone was very warm. Yeah. Uh, so you 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 understand how important it was. I was at an audit. 
You were there? So was Liz, and Charlie just points. Oh, that's why Danny was asking for that help. Yeah. Okay. That lines up. Your texts seem to have, um, they weren't as illuminating. As I as as I am now finding this news out secondhand. By the by, how many birdies are flying free tonight? <clears throat> um, eight. Eight. <laughs> eight. How? Delia sits eight. down onto the couch. Oh. Yeah. Oh, just careful, dear. How, how many total did you have on ice? Eight. My truck got hit. Hit? By what? A team. Mortals or kindred? Judges. Oh, boy. Judges. Plural. Like the one with the, the silver... N no, uh, um, one? Or... There's a lot of judges. Uh, there's a whole clan okay. of them. Okay. And there happened to be a group that... Do work for the Tremere. Delia knows about them. They used to guard a certain vault. I had hoped that the Inquisition had put an equal amount of holes and grenades in, in them and thinned it out a little bit. <laughs> There's more than just I... the ones that were in the vault. I know. There's anything I know about the Bano Hakim, it's that the judges are resilient and really good at keeping things hidden when they want to. Yes. Speaking of those two things, how are you feeling, Princey? Fine. Oh, really good. It's You're really cute when you lie. Well, I'm stressed. You can't be. I can say. This whole thing bothers me. Uh, but I uh, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, stop by and... Uh, uh, oh, and, and say hi, of course, and, you know, just give everybody a big old hug. And I'm going to wrap my arm on him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right on the prince. This is lovely. <laughs> I'm having a personal um, space moment here. <laughs> yeah, boy, you sure are. And I don't. So who'd you? Uh... And I don't want to. Uh -huh. I don't want to have to call rank. I guess you'd call it. Pull rank, mm, call rank, know. yank rank, whatever Julia. the fuck the term is. Just not feeling the the hugging right now. Please, if you would. Oh, you're definitely. Feeling something. Hey, uh, tell me something, uh, Curtis. You wouldn't cheat on us, would you? Who'd you see on the way here? What's going on, Liz? Didn't see anybody on the way here. She uh, rotates along the couch Liz. and looks over the edge. He huh? catches eyes with you. Uh -huh. And he says, A word. Ladies. What's up, the cigarette? Well, we don't have to go anywhere. I'm very well oh. aware. A word. <laughs> he wants to... Okay. Sure, what's his uh, resolve? Delia, do we leave? Five. What do we do? <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys don't gotta go anywhere. This will literally take a split second. As I engage telepathy, which I just need to look up. It was intelligence. There it is. Insight. And functionally, that's all I get. Because <laughs> his resolve is the same as my auspects. Still. That's Ooh, one, two. Two successes. Okay. And unless he's resisting, I don't spend a He's not time. resisting. He invited you. Okay. You've got Liz. I'm sending it. Oh. oh. 
apologies. One moment, oh, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm looking Men's, at my uh... messages like they're gonna be there. I don't <laughs> yeah. know. No, I just I just got the message. One moment. Uh... Please hold. <laughs> Elizabeth blinks. You, you, here's what you see. Uh, he says a word. Elizabeth kind of looks at him, and then you see her eyes do this focusing thing. And she blinks back a little. There's an intense Sense. stare for all of like three seconds as this is all happening. Stare. And uh, let's just kind of. My mistake. Goes and sits back down next to Charlie. Appreciate it. I'm here to serve. It's just like the club again. Why do I, I believe nothing that's happening? I feel on the outside again. That's no, it's no, fine. no. He, the prince just, I'm just teasing him. Oh, I never get to see you, Curtis. You never come to the club. Uh, so I just uh, popped by, uh, needed a secure location, wanted to just tell you rather than having to do it digitally or have anything that could be tapped by people that I don't know already. <laughs> Charlie just waves in directions. Um... <laughs> Le, le, le Grand Papillon. Lucas Leonard. Siegbert, as you are probably aware. Yeah, he did not look good. Angel. Fernando. Angel. And, um, how many was that, by the way? That's four. That's four, yeah. Four, um, we'll call them persons of interest. I remember what samples I used. No, not them. Oh, God, if I could have Goratrix in that truck, I would have been able to do so much. Oh, that's information. Okay. Uh, no, no. Um, <clears throat> they may have been individuals that I had been keeping an eye on since the battle. I wanted some insurance just in case the Sabat showed up again. Uh, so maybe a few pack leaders are out as well. I don't know where they went. I don't know where they've taken them. Uh, the, the driver didn't make it. Uh, I got the call afterwards. Uh, JD is looking it over right now for me. I, if I had the samples, I could, I could try and call them back for you. Um... Mm. Yeah, well, that's 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 the tough part. I don't really have that, um, but I have a a, a a little request here. Uh, Ed, Charlie, Cinnabon. Mm. Yeah. Uh, can you do me a favor? Sure. I know you're getting ready to do that trip. And, uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's a good idea if you took care of that now. Things are going to get real hot soon. So if you're going to take care of that, uh, I'd take care of it now before you can't take care of it for a long time after. I've been mixing up some napalm for you. Oh, oh, you know my favorite flavor. Yeah, it's A-bomb flavored, apparently. Listen, just because I mentioned the A-bomb a few times today. Um, <clears throat> so, um, but, yeah. Charlie, if you could go now. 
I will start packing. No. Please or... go now. I Forward will... us an address. If Curtis thinks yeah. you need to go now, Forward us an address. I will take care of getting your things to you. Okay, I'll I'll write it down. Oh, so it's not anywhere electronic. Uh, also, um, it'd probably be a good idea. Uh, cut through, uh, you know, go Staten Island, uh, and then okay. uh, take the Outer Bridge Crossing. Uh, don't uh, the GW's a mess right now. <laughs> it always okay. is. Yeah, it, that, that tracks. It's especially bad right now. So, uh, yeah, you could do that for me. That'd be that'd be great. Okay, okay. Uh, I have to grab one thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just didn't want you like if you didn't have bags packed already. I didn't want you trying to pack for a month. I I don't have a lot. Okay. So it wouldn't take me more than five minutes to pack my stuff. Make it two. Okay. And Charlie just... She even, like, knowing, like, how bad this is, kicks on celerity to get to her room faster to, like, do everything quicker. Just throwing shit in her old backpack and her old shitty rolling luggage, just... Oh, wait. <laughs> do you, you have dots of celerity. Yeah. You could do it in an instant. <laughs> Then she's gone. Nit, nit, nit. It's back. <laughs> With oh. her shit. <laughs> right, yep. Mm hmm. Ooh, That's our squirrel. He walks over, goes to put his hands on your shoulders, but pulls his hands back, leans in, gives her a peck on the forehead. It says, uh, remember, Staten Island, Outer Bridge Crossing. No stops on the way, all right? Okay. Um, Luke was supposed to come with me. Is he already on his way, or do I have to tell him? Uh, I already called him. He's okay. going to meet you at, um, oh, go to the Lombardi stop. Lombardi stop. Okay. I got it. For those of you not in the know <laughs> of regional things, the Lombardi stop oh, is, is a literally the the last rest stop in New Jersey before you get on the New York bridges. Gotcha. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned things about New York. Hyper regional commentary and story plots. <laughs> <clears throat> um go take care of your family stuff kiddo okay take care of my family stuff there so I can take care of family stuff here and she like celerity hugs the other two <laughs> and then just rolls her shit out the door and starts going. As soon as the door closes behind her, obfuscate drops. Curtis is covered in cuts and bullet wounds. Get in my lab right now. No, no, mm -hmm. we're good. I'm good. I'm good. I just need time. And if you have a snack. Are you? I don't actually know if we keep blood in the house as a player. <laughs> well, we might. Not, if you had any on hand, I'd. I have something for you to drink. She disappears. She's got A-bombs now. Yeah. Comes Jesus back with the Christ. I don't suppose uh, you want to give us any swallow. idea what the hell happened. <laughs> Comes back. Drink the stupid fucking thing. It'll help you heal. We don't have the luxury for you to be scared of me. 
It'll make you kiss God. You'll love it. Now, my mother told me not to drink things from strange people. Pine pops it open, takes a drink. What was it? My dude, that was potency for oh. his healing. Oh. My dude, you oh. are strange people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He, you see him close his eye one at a time, like left, then right, and then focus. And a bunch of the surface wounds heal. There are charred holes on his body. There are deep cuts that are... Are these phosphorus wounds? Burns? Like... Yep. Oh, fuck. Yep. <clears throat> Not that, though. Uh, I have a little bit of a... A little bit of a, 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 a an announcement to make that I'm going to be making soon that I will send to the rest of the city. But I thought I'd want the most captive audience for my princely declaration. And from a place that I know most people don't track or know about. Um, seeing as I've already declared it. And the council knows. In four hours. At... Midnight, New York is under a blood hunt. Who? Diablo is free. Who? Me. Okay. Double check. No, not some kind of weird fucked up psycho nightmare. I'd love for you to elaborate. Well, <laughs> he no hobbles. Good. He hobbles over and sits on the couch, bloodstains and soot smearing across the leather. See, this is why you should have let Delia put the plastic on the couch. Everyone fought her on it, thought it was really stupid. We can just buy a new sofa. It's more comfortable this way. Plastic is bad. <laughs> yeah, also, I can tell that somebody thinks plastic's bad. I know what's <sighs> coming. And I know who's going to be doing it. And I know who's going to be affected by it. That's why I wanted Charlie out of here. I don't blame you. I got a soft spot for the cinnamon bun. That's uh, something I've been working on over the years, but uh, they crop up every once in a while. <laughs> Feelings? Charlie, Charlie's kind of special in that regard, I think. Oh, no, I got a thing for nerds, too. looks at Delia. What? I don't know if either of you have read The Art of War. Uh, yeah. The enemy expands, you contract. When the enemy contracts, you expand. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, one of the best pieces of tactics you can have is to fight the enemy on your terms. Huh. Deny your enemy their strengths. Motherfucker wants to send the Justicar in. <laughs> ah, fuck you, you can't call Elysium when everyone's killing each other. <laughs> oh my god, this that was your <laughs> Ow. <clears throat> um Rascally rabbit. Uh, somehow it feels like you're still losing. I'm 
Oh, no. I'm ahead of the game. I've been keeping tally marks. As he points to wounds. I mean, there's, there were, seemed to be better ways to find out who your enemies were. Oh, I already know. What um, other allies? Yeah. Um. So, once JD gets here, we're going to talk about what he found out from the truck. And, um... And we see about making your plan work, Delia. You do understand the the. My A bomb hurts everyone equally as well as helps everybody. Yep. Can you make use of that? I. If it came down between an old world witch hunt and a Delia Brooks A bomb. I can tell you which one I'd be in the middle of in a heartbeat. So, kids, who wants to topple an ivory tower? I need a uh, nap first. And as he kind of leans one... over and lies down oh, on the there couch. He goes. Okay. This is a plan. Joe, it's this the situation. opposite. This is great. Ooh. I have one. Quick question, though, uh, that I could really use answered before we um, let our good prince uh, go into that sweet night. Uh -huh. Did he sleep? The f Who the fuck is JD? Oh. <laughs> uh, you'll like him. Good taste in music. Likes jazz. I'm napping now. As he fades off. And we fade out of tonight's episode. I completely forgot you haven't met him! <laughs> I have no idea. I figured that would make a good, like, yeah, by the way, who the fuck's JD? That was God. so good! <laughs> oh my god! Great opera. You saw the opportunity and you went for it, and I'm so happy you did. <laughs> Charlie's little brother. There you go! <laughs> Delightful. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for tonight. I have been Conry with me from the Dirty South. Fox. From Dirty Jersey. Dara. From below the waterline with me. Our basement's really dirty. Sandra Lee. We'll catch you guys next time. And until we see you again, remember to always stay evil.